the state has witnessed an irreparable damage in the recent past. State energy sector has also suffered huge loss, losses due the, due, uh, to the tune of rupees 1,29,503 crores during the period 2019 to 24. Misappropriation of natural resources such as land, mines and minerals and forests has been widespread. Land grabbing, misappropriation in, in allotment of house site pattas, violations in land allocation, assignment of land to ineligible beneficiaries, and resurvey and EAP Land Titling Act 2023 have completely eroded the confidence of the people during 2019-24. Put together, an amount of rupees 35,576 crore covering 1.75 lakh acres has been estimated as a loss, and the fundamental right of the people to own their property was affected. Looting of sand and mineral wealth is another area that resulted in huge loss to the exchequer and involved corruption. My government has initially estimated that an amount of rupees 19,000 crore has been lost due to illegal activities in these areas. Due to the unfriendly sand policy, 20 lakh construction workers have become unemployed. Due to the inefficient, inappropriate policy making and, and laxity in enforcement during the periods 2019-24, a cumulative loss to the tune of 9,750 crore has been incurred in mineral revenue. Huge damage has been done to environment. Smuggling of precious red sandals from forests has taken place with the revenue from the sale of red sanders dropping from rupees 1,623 crore in 2014-19 to rupees 441 crore in 2019-24. The destruction of mangrove forest land and Rishikonda Hill in Vishakhapatnam have also damaged the state's heritage and culture. The government misused law and order machinery during 2019-24 by harassing dissenting voices. There was rise in crime against women, children, atrocities on innocent people, especially the SC, STs and other vulnerable sections. The people lost faith in the government's ability to maintain rule of law. <clears throat> the previous government also made a mockery of the excise revenue streams of the state. The VAT on exercise was reduced and diverted to AP State Beverages Corporation as a special margin which otherwise would have come to the government as revenue. The government levied the additional retail excise tax on the issue price of liquor sold by APSB CL and escrowed the same for repayment of, repayment of loans taken by APSDC. While the APSBCL started supplying low quality liquor and introduced unknown brands at significantly higher rates, there was increase in black money due to smuggling of IMFL across the border districts. These policy practices have caused irreparable damage to the excise revenue streams of the state.